Hi yogis, welcome back to Flow with Lo. I'm Lo and it's time to flow. Today's practice is all about menstrual discomfort. So grab your mat and let's get started. Come to a nice easy seated position on your mat, crisscross yogi sauce, rooting down through your sits bones as you draw the crown of your head towards the ceiling or the sky. Let your hands rest on your knees, drop your shoulders down away from your ears, soften through your brow, drop your tongue away from your mouth. Bring one hand to your heart, one hand to your belly, just tuning into the body right now, noticing what it feels like to be in your skin today, noticing your breath, feeling the life force energy flowing in and out of your nostrils, but also throughout the entirety of your body. Let's take one more nice deep inhale and exhale here together, yogis. And as you exhale, make your way to the top of your mat. We're gonna begin with a deep inhale as you reach your arms overhead, grab for your left wrist with your right hand and stretch over to the right. Inhale is gonna bring you back to center. Exhale, stretch over to the left. Inhale brings you back to center. Exhale, cactus the arms, pressing your chest high, drawing the shoulder blades and the elbows together. Release the palms, inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold, and we're gonna make our way into a forward fold, and we're gonna hang out in each posture for a good bit of time today. So focus on taking three to five deep inhales and exhales in each pose. So here we're just hanging forward. You can have a slight bend in your knees, whatever feels good for the hamstrings. You're allowing your upper body and your torso to just be really, really heavy here. You can grab for opposite elbows. You can also grab for your big toes. You can let your hands rest on the mat. Whatever feels good for you today. Let's take a couple more breaths here, just allowing ourselves to ease into the practice. Feeling the stretch in the hamstrings, the lower back, really the whole body. On your next inhale, slowly make your way all the way up, reaching your arms overhead again. Exhale, cactus the arms. Bring the palms together at heart center. From here, we're gonna pivot into a wide-legged straddle facing the side of our mat. Bring your heels together and turn your toes out. And then take a bend in the knees, lowering the hips and making your way into your goddess squat. In this posture, you wanna make sure to tuck your tailbone under and to draw your belly button in towards your spine to protect your low back. Feel free to bring one hand to your heart, one hand to your belly like I'm doing here. Just take those three to five deep inhales and exhales, breathing into your belly, breathing into your womb, inviting in ease and flow and comfort. On your next inhale, just straighten through your legs, bring your arms overhead. And as you exhale, we're gonna make our way into a pyramid pose. So you're gonna pivot to face the front of your mat. Your front toes are perpendicular with the front of your mat. Your hips and your chest are square to the front of your mat and your back foot, you're gonna step that forward just a little bit and turn those toes out on a 45 degree angle. You can take a few torso waves here, just inviting some gentle movement into the upper body as you compress the abdomen, bringing comfort to the reproductive organs. And then find some stillness, again, finding those three to five deep belly breaths here. Inviting ease and comfort into your entire body and simultaneously allowing it to release what it does not need, both physically and emotionally here. On your next inhale, you're gonna walk your hands to the side of your mat, pivot to the side of your mat, and then pivot all the way to the back of your mat, taking that same pyramid pose, but facing the back of your mat this time. Again, feel free to take those torso waves, just some gentle movement to invite in some release, and then find stillness and take three to five deep belly breaths here. On your next inhale, pivot to face the side of your mat again, nice and slowly walking your hands in that direction. Then you're gonna bring your heels close together, your toes are facing outward, and you're gonna sink down into your malasana squat or your yogi squat. And you can feel free to take some intuitive movement here or just find stillness, whatever feels best in your body today. I really like kind of rocking side to side, which you'll see me do here in just a second. 
That just allows me to get a little deeper into each individual hip, just inviting in a little bit more release in those areas. So you can feel free to do the same. This can be a really, really intense pose. So if you feel like you need some support, grab a block or a bolster or even a, a really thick blanket or a pillow and set it underneath your hips and that can feel really, really supportive. Then try to just find some stillness here, connecting with your breath, taking those three to five deep belly breaths. It's a really, really nourishing posture all the time, but especially during menstruation. On your next exhale, bring one or both hands to the mat behind you and lower your bottom down onto the mat and come into crisscross yogi sauce. Take a deep inhale up as you reach the arms overhead. And as you exhale, melt your right arm down to the mat beside you and reach the left arm overhead for a side body stretch. Finding those three to five deep belly breaths here, really focusing on rooting down through the sits bones as you reach the fingertips away, elongating through the left side body. Inhale is gonna bring you up and through center and exhale, you're gonna switch sides. So that left arm's melting into the mat now, reaching the right arm overhead finding your three to five deep belly breaths. Your next inhale is gonna bring you back up through center. And we're gonna make our way into a seated butterfly pose. So the soles of your feet are gonna come together. Your knees are nice and wide, sitting up nice and tall creating space in the spine as you drop the shoulders away from your ears. And feel free, you can see me here, I'm giving myself a little foot massage. So this is just really, really nourishing and comforting anytime, but especially during menstruation when there might be some discomfort. So just show yourself a little love, maybe massaging your feet, your ankles, your calves, your shins, whatever feels good. connecting to the breath while you're here. Then maybe you find some stillness and fold forward over the legs. Taking your three to five deep belly breaths. your next inhale rise back up and stretch your legs out long in front of you coming into a seated staff pose we're going to inhale reaching the arms overhead and exhale fold forward over those legs reaching for your toes your ankles your shins your knees whatever is available to you today create space and length in the spine before you completely fold forward three to five deep belly breaths here With your next inhale, bring yourself back up to seated, this time bringing with you your right knee, taking a bend in your right knee and stepping your right foot over your left, hugging your right knee with your left arm and planting your right hand on the mat behind you coming into a twist. And for this, there are three different options for your arms. You can leave that back hand planted or you can reach the hand up into the sky or you can reach it back for a deeper twist three to five belly breaths. On your next exhale, you're gonna come back forward, releasing your twist, and we're just gonna switch sides. So lay your right leg long, take a bend in your left knee, step the left foot over the right leg, and move into your twist, hugging that left knee with the right arm. 
and planting the left hand behind you. Again, choosing your option for the left arm. Either the hand is planted in the mat, the arm is up, or the arm is back, taking you deeper into your twist. Three to five deep belly breaths, yogis. On your next exhale, release out of your twist and come into a nice seated little ball, hugging both knees into your chest, giving yourself a nice hug, thanking yourself for being here, loving on your body, recognizing all that it's doing right now for you and just showing it some gratitude. One more breath here, yogis. And as you release, make your way back into your seated position Reconnecting with your breath, reconnecting with yourself, one hand to heart, one hand to belly. Bring your hands together at heart center. Thank you so much for practicing with me today, yogis. I hope that this served you and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.